in while not um, while actually helping out your joints and, and then um, you know also just not they don't seem to tamper recovery the same way as is a lower rep set because you know like a, a a three rep set to failure that yeah, it's it's going to help you maximize your 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 uh, output at the gym you know and especially as a as a as a, a body order first I think it's important to uh, to make sure we can use the heaviest loads possible so you know I would say get a belt and one thing about belts that I love is it a belt is pretty much a one time in a life you purchase it one time in your life and that is it so it's it's a cheap investment I like that and uh, in the spreadsheet you're gonna find uh, you're gonna find the the macros, the timelines, and uh, just a few other tidbits of information that I think uh, is important. So I just kind of want to share with you guys what um, you know, besides the gym, just other things that, that go on during my week. And uh, you know, this week when it comes to training, we got some heavy bench pressing in, and that was really good. It's really starting to make me feel uh, not just optimistic that I'll be able to do the meet in March, but that, you know, hey, maybe I'll put up some relatively good totals. So that was 265. Uh, the plates are real thin, the 10, so it looks like 245, but that was 265 for an easy, comfortable triple. And this was a 150-pound dumbbell rows. And the only reason I am doing these is because the gym owner egged me on. He took the things off the rack for me. So, you know, I couldn't say no. My manhood was on the line. And this was a highlight of the week. This was uh, high bar squats with 405. This was one of my warm-ups here. And after this set, I kind of knew that it was uh, going to uh, going to be a really good day. So the goal this, this day was to get a, a single at about an RP of 9.5. So nice, relaxed single with pretty good bar speed and just a weight that I certainly, you know, I could not have done for another rep. But, you know, I maybe could have done 430, maybe 435 on this day. And I was just really happy with, with everything from um, just how little time I took finding my stance, just how robotic I was. Except on this set. On this set, I kind of lost my, my crap for a minute there, but regained it. And this is actually a uh, one of my goals for the, for the month of March. So I'm about a month early. I wanted 405 for, for a triple uh, with, with high bar squats. And that's exactly what I got here. First rep was really good. Second rep was eh. And then my last rep was really, really good. And, um, and yeah, you know, again, just about a month early here. And I really wanted to put it back, but I didn't put it back. And I followed through with the third rep. And uh, might have had one more. I think I could have grinded out one more. So that's maybe at about 9.5, I think. But that was it. That's what my work week looked like. A lot of pumper work after that. We started a deload, and uh, hey, you know, deload weeks are—they're never quite fun. But again, they're—they're they're a great way to make sure that we have consistent progress and that we stay injury injury free. So this is just uh, some video of some random arm, some bicep curls uh, throughout this week. And you know, arms is—that's just one of those things that I'm always going to have to work on. It's just doesn't come very natural to me. Attachments kind of suck in this area and um, other than some veins here and there they just uh, they're always going to be lackluster but hey uh, right back to work next week and hopefully uh, we'll have some heavy deadlifting. Can't wait for that.